In this problem, you're asked to find all the vectors that are mapped to the three-dimensional zero vector by the linear transformation uh, matrix A times X, where this is your matrix A. So in, in this problem, what we're being asked to do is actually solve another uh, linear system. This time, it's A times the matrix X equals that zero vector. In a in a previous example video, we solved a, a similar problem, except we had non-zero entries uh, in, this, in this vector over here. So since we already set up an augmented matrix once uh, with this matrix A, here we could um, set up a new augmented matrix with the matrix A here and then a column of zeros here. Uh, since we've already done all the row reduction, like the first step we did before was negative 5, row 1 plus row 2 uh, to get a, a 0 in this position here. And then I'm going to put a dot, 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 all these other row operations. Uh, well, let's just take that row operation that I just wrote here for an example. If we did negative 5 times row 1, so that's 0, add it to here, this is 0. This column of zeros is going to stay a column of zeros through all of those uh, steps in the row reduction. So we could just use the, um, the row reduction that we did in part one. So I'm going to go straight to this form here and then just change the constant column to this row of zeros. So that's specific. Um, this only works when we have the zero vector here as our output. Uh, if we had some different constant vector over here, then we would need to redo uh, the steps in the row reduction to see what this column uh, becomes with all of those row operations. Uh, before I write this solution set here, I'm going to do one more row operation to put this in the reduced echelon form. So that's to get a zero in this position. And we could do that by doing negative two times row two and adding that to row one. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm going to try to squeeze this in here again. Um, so let me see, I can enter these, these other rows first. Okay, so now we have 0 plus 1, so this will be a 1. Negative 2 plus 2, so that's a 0, that was the whole point. Negative 4 plus 3, so that's negative 1. Uh, negative 6 plus 4, so this is now negative 2. And then 0 plus 0, so this is 0 here. Uh, okay, so now we want to describe all the solutions. So again, x3 and x4 are the free variables. Um, we're going to express our solution set in terms of those two variables. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and write the equations that correspond to those non-zero rows. So the first row says x1 minus x3 minus 2 times x4 is equal to 0. Uh, this implies that x1 is equal to x3 plus 2x4. Row 2 says that x2 plus 2x3 plus 3x4 is equal to 0. So that x2 is equal to negative 2x3 minus 3x4. So now we could describe all the solutions as, okay, x1 is x3 plus 2x4. Uh, x2 is negative 2x3 minus 3x4. And x3 and x4 are our free variables. I'll have to bring this to a new page. So now we can break this down as x3 times the vector. OK, so in the first entry, the coefficient of x3 is 1. In the second entry, the coefficient of x3 is negative 2. In the third entry, the coefficient of x3 is 1. And then in the fourth entry, we have no x3s. Plus x4 
times the vector. Okay, so now we just look at the coefficients, this time for x4. So we have 2x4 in the first position, negative 3x4 in the second position, no x4s here, and then 1x4 in the fourth position. And so this describes all of the solutions to the equation ax equals 0, Oops. which gives us all of the vectors that are mapped to all of the vectors x such that t of x is equal to 0 for this particular transformation.